good afternoon my love folks um my name is malik davis and i would like to thank each and every one of you uh, for taking time to stop in at 40 pieces of meat it is really hot today in north carolina extremely hot um today is a special day uh it's a special day because i was feeling some type of way and i normally stay in the building um for lunch break but i decided that i needed to come out to the car and actually get myself together i needed to have some me time and sometimes i know if i'm feeling that way it is somebody else uh that may be feeling that way as well so i had a thought earlier this week uh, and it was an uplifting thought and I stated, you know, that I was going to share that with my family because I do consider you guys as my family. Um, and basically what that thought was is that I process and I know that I am what's per se some call a runner uh, at the sight of bad vibes or anything crazy about to happen. I will disappear if you we don't mix well and I feel that you mean me no good, I will disappear. And it is okay. Sometimes people say you can't continue to do that. It is true. If that's your preference not to do so. Me, I don't like trouble. I don't like unnecessary trouble. So I say if you feel something is not right, it is okay to move on. Um, but what I will tell you is if anything thing feels if it's just a small bit five percent feels that a situation a room as i called it remember situations of rooms if a situation feels good if you get five percent of it that feels good and i mean of course within reasoning whether it be with your kids or it's with a relationship whether it's with a job Heck, you could be going through a foreclosure right now. You could have gotten court papers, eviction papers earlier this week. But if anything feels right about that situation, if anything feels good to you, I want to encourage you to fight. No matter what it is, if deep down in your soul that God is planting that seed in your spirit that it's okay, it's uncomfortable right now, but all you have to do is get through the night and morning won't be like the night, then I want you to fight for it. If you know somebody that's about to give up on something and somebody is extremely frustrated, it's our job to encourage them to continue to fight. That if they get through the night, morning will come. And I promise you, morning won't be like the night. So God has already planted the seed. And a long time ago, whatever this situation is, it was already designed to be yours for the taking. Now, all you have to do is decide how are you going to help God make this come into play? Because he's did his part. He's just waiting to see if you're going to work on making yours better. If you're going to commit to your end of the deal. So, um. Nothing special today. I was just feeling a certain way and I had to get me back. So I needed to step outside the building on my lunch break and process and decide, okay, well, what am I going to do today? What am I going to do in the weekend? And whatever is going on with me, what am I going to do to make it better? Because God has already did his portion. Now he's just waiting for me to get through the night because the morning won't be like the night. Uh, once again, my name is Malik Davis. I want all of my I want all of my love bugs to have an absolutely wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. Of course, we will probably get together and um, we have a couple more projects that I didn't get finished last weekend. Um, as you can see, they went around the company that I work for. Somebody made these wonderful puzzle pieces in celebration of autism. So um, I thought these were absolutely great because I have two friends uh, that have uh, children that do have autism. Uh, so that was a bright spot in my day. It actually made me a little teary. Uh, but once again, I thank you guys for being so absolutely wonderful to me. If this channel is something that you enjoy, 
if you have not decided to hit subscribe please hit the subscribe button uh, share the channel with someone else and remember it is our responsibility to take care of each other so if you know someone who is about to give up then it's your responsibility fight make them understand that it's going to be something brighter at the end of the road Malik Davis thank you guys for stopping by 40 pieces of me on your lunch break have a beautiful day